So for this one, just draw the preferred product. So try it first, and then I'll explain it. Okay, so when you have an alkene, right, and then you have an epoxide, you, you know it's an epoxide by seeing the O3. So once you see that it's an epoxide, it will form a bridged epoxide, right? It'll form that. And then I labeled here that this is a tertiary carbon and this is a secondary carbon. Now with your CH3 MGBR, right, the MGBR part makes this carbon right here a nucleophile. So since this is a SN2 reaction, right, because this is a nucleophile, it will attack the least substituted spot on this epoxide. So the least substituted spot would be the secondary carbon. So it would attack right here, right, let's say it attacks from above. Well, it would attack right here, the electrons would go to oxygen, and it would actually get pushed downward, right? So that's why um, this would stick out, right, of the page. It would be a wedge, and the MGBR um, just falls off, but this would be a wedge, and this would be a dash, because it gets pushed inward. Now, this would be O, o minus, right? But it doesn't stay as O minus. Rarely will you have a product that has a negative charge on the oxygen, right? So the O minus will take away... Um, a hydrogen for, from something in the solution, in this case, it can be um, uh, H3O+, plus, and so it will take away a hydrogen, and therefore it will become OH. So you will have an alcohol that's on a dash, and then a wedge um, for the CH3. So I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.